guys, it's Ifter, and I'm back with more Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Last time, we all settled down to sleep after we got a Yumi back, and Nana decided to go off to the bathroom alone, and we followed after her. But she's not in the bathroom, obviously, because that's how this place works. Maybe we passed one another without realizing it. No! Nana! What's wrong, Nana? Oh god. The sound that echoed through the hall was like that of a butcher slicing up a large chunk of meat, bone and all. The sound was accompanied by the dimly lit figure of Nana sprawled down on the ground in front of me. Or rather, part of Nana. It was really just the top half of her body, severed cleanly at the thigh. Her legs were completely gone. And the worst part is, she was still fully alert and aware. <laughs> my legs! My legs! <laughs> Nana! This grisly sight was too much for me to handle. I became weak in the knees and fell backwards, landing on my butt. I couldn't move. <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! My legs! My legs! <laughs> Nana was bending and contorting her back and writhing on the ground as if struggling to escape the pain and the fear. I wanted to help her, but I had no idea what I could do. Nothing had prepared me for a situation like this. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't even think. The sight of Nana's squirming body, gushing blood every which way, was burning itself into my mind. It was the most frightening thing I'd ever seen. What happened? I thought we were in the bathroom. How did we end up down here? Ugh! It hurts! It hurts! Ugh! Ugh! Oh! I could sense the presence of another person in the shadows just behind Nana's torso. Who was it? The darkness was all encompassing past a certain point, giving only the vaguest notion of a human silhouette with an inky black void. Who is there? That's that, the locker room. No, wait, it's not. Where is this? What's back there? That door should have led into the pool locker room, but the lighting, or lack of it, was completely wrong. There was also an indescribably foul order wafting out from within. So powerful and revolting that I felt it could never leave my senses again. Whatever being was lurking in the shadows of that horrible room was getting closer to me, step by step. I still couldn't make out a single feature, but frankly I didn't want to. His existence alone was threatening enough. Whoever this was, I could sense his shadow posturing itself over Nana's head, as if preparing to swallow it whole. Like a crocodile. In fact, the shadow was beginning to resemble a crocodile more and more. Is this even a person? <coughs> stop! Please stop! The figure was now fully visible. It was indeed a person, I think. He grabbed Nana by the head and then turned and began dragging her into that horrid room. She was clearly nearing death, as it took everything she had to scream in protest. Her voice was getting weaker and her writhing less pronounced. I couldn't even imagine how painful it must be to have one severed body slowly dragged across the floor, exposed side down. It would be bad enough just having my head held in that massive filthy grip. No, grip isn't the right word. It really was more like a bite. God, no! Save me, please! Why you? No! Stop, please! I don't want to die! Don't kill me! These were the panicked, primal screams of a person's last moments on Earth. It's a sound no one should ever have to hear, much less produce. Once you hear it, it's the kind of thing you'll be hearing again for the rest of your life. Nothing can ever wipe it from your memory. It stays with you. I sat there dumbfounded, so disturbed that I could barely breathe, and watched the slow slither of Nana's body as she disappeared into the unknown. It only took a few seconds for her to vanish into the blackness, but those were the longest few seconds of my life. And once she was gone, only a wide swath of blood remained, tracing her path down the hall and across that hellish threshold. N Nana, Nana I, I have to go save her! Help! Maya! 
on a... Uh, gathering all my courage, I ran at full speed toward the black void, but found no room to enter. Beyond the room was nothing more than a solid Miss wall. Angel, what? Way. No, where is she? Where was the she way. taken? <laughs> Mayu! It was just as Shimazaki had said, right before my eyes, a human being was pulled into a space that simply no longer existed. It pulled out of reality. And yet I could still hear her. No! I can't even describe how frightened I was. All I can do is scream and take off running away from there. Anywhere else is preferable. I don't really know how we got there. Why am I going this way? Nana isn't this way. She's behind me. I need to go back. I need to save her. I need to save Nana. I'm just getting farther and farther away from her. No, I can't. I just can't. It's just not possible. I'm so sorry, Nana. I couldn't do anything to say. Or that's crying sounds. What do I say to Kishinuma and Shimazaki? Well, they're not here. We were just talking with her, and now look what's happened. Her legs were torn right off, right along the lines of those bruises. Wait, the bruises? Nana was sized up in the exact spots where she had those markings. And I have markings just like that on my stomach. That doesn't mean anything, right? It's j just coincidence, right? Ah, oh, what's wrong with me? Worrying about myself at a time like this. But I can't help it. I opened my compact mirror and hesitantly brought it down to my abdomen, lifting my shirt and loosening my skirt a bit to get a better look. Oh god, no! I didn't have to look very hard. The color of the bruise on my abdomen had darkened significantly. It was far more pronounced now. Practically pulsating in purplish red. It looked more like some kind of demented crest that had surfaced from deep inside my body. <laughs> no! It's darker, more clearly outlined, and it looks bigger now, too. What is this? Why is it here? It's just a bruise, right? I'm sure it'll go away on its own over time if I leave it be. I just kept telling myself that it would go away on its own. It was nothing. I was starting to believe it. Feeling somewhat placated, I lifted the mirror up and prepared to shut it and put it away. When I caught a quick glimpse of my face, I saw fear. I saw sadness. I saw defeat. But I also saw something else. <laughs> no. At first, I doubted my eyes, but I wasn't seeing things. Nor was it a smudge on the mirror. It was another discolored bruise, just like the one on my abdomen. It was nowhere near as dark, but it was definitely there. And given enough time, it would probably get a lot darker. <laughs> Why? When, <laughs> when did I get this? <laughs> Maybe it's just dirty. Maybe I just need to wipe it off. I tried spit shining it away with my finger, but all that did was make it wet. And each time I pressed down on it, the surrounding skin would turn white, creating greater contrast to making it stand out more. It wasn't going away. It wasn't going away! But it just keeps getting darker. I might wind up like Nana! No, please, no! Torn apart at the seams. No! Suzumoto, what's wrong? I thought I heard you scream. No luck in finding Oba Obasawara? I don't like that at all. Look we'll to search. Shizumoto? No, stay back! I took a step away from them, despite myself. What's going on? Please, just stay back. Nothing's going on, I swear. Did something happen? Did you see something in your compact? It's nothing. I didn't see anything. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I couldn't let them see me like that. I didn't want them to see that hideous bruise. Oh, it's Suzumoto. Wait, Suzumoto! Suzumoto-san! Suzumoto! What do I do? What do I do? I'm running again, but where am I going? I have to get rid of this. If I don't, if I can't, then I... Then I'll wind up like Nana. I have to hurry. 
I have to find some way of making this go away. I have some concealer in my makeup bag. Maybe I can hide it. There we go. <laughs> Can't see it at all now. I'll have to just get some sleep, and when I wake up, that bruise will be long gone, and I know it will. Yeah, I was getting all worked up over nothing. It's just a little mark on my face, after all. Probably just a result of all the stress I've been feeling here. Once things calmed down, it would go away for sure. Survey says... Okay. Huh? I don't remember closing the door. Oh no. It wouldn't open. And it wasn't like it was locked. Rather, it felt as if someone was holding it closed with superhuman strength. Oh no. Suddenly I realized why. The door was wrapped multiple times over with thin black threads. How did I not notice these a moment ago? What the? Is this human hair? I looked at it a bit more closely and concluded without question that's exactly what it was. <laughs> I felt an unpleasant heat raining all along my back muscles across my entire spine. I was being watched. There was some sort of moist, lukewarm presence in the room with me. And slowly but surely I could sense it moving. <laughs> Who's there? Who's behind me? I was too scared to turn around. <laughs> this room... It's a little girl wearing a red dress. Her dress looks really torn. Has it always been that way? Probably a first or second grader. Her skin was as pale as pottery, contrasting with her lacquer-like hair, and she looks somehow familiar. Ah, oh, this is the girl from the newspaper. Who survived the murders. Sachiko Shinazaki. But that can't be right. That happened over 30 years ago. This room is so lifeless. I know what it needs. Oh, no, 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 no. Those aren't the words. Those aren't the words she's saying. No, no, no. A human autopsy model. I want to dissect a human. No, 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 no. What? No. No, no. Go away. Ah. Have you come to play with this again? No, please, no. Yep, yeah, really, please, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 why did the screen go away? Something was dripping onto the back of my hand. Are these tears? That's what I thought at first anyway. If I'd started to cry, I wasn't aware, but considering what I was going through, it wouldn't have been surprising in any way. I wonder just how much I'd cried since getting sealed up in this godforsaken place. Probably more than I'd ever cried before in my entire life. But these weren't tears, were they? Was it blood then? Did these children do something to me? Oh, no, 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 no. Sure enough, I reached up and touched my face, and my finger came in contact with something sticky. Something sticky and red. I don't want to see. I don't want to know. What did you do to me? We didn't do anything. Sachiko's answer was cold and disinterested. It came accompanied with a crooked, wry smile. She was just a child. Yet one glance from her made every hair on my body stand on end. No, don't do it. How about you take a look in the mirror? We'll wait just for a little bit, though. Mm. Sachiko's face somehow made me feel as if there might be two sides to her. One gentle and one not. But regardless of which I was dealing with here, I wasn't about to go against a recommendation. I was legitimately curious myself. Well, prepare for massive censorship. So I took out my compact, opened it, and... Okay, alright, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, no, please. The bruise I concealed with makeup had sprung back to the surface once again. Though it could hardly be called a bruise anymore. My skin had literally split open from inside, and blood was beginning to seep out through the pinkish fissure, bead by bead. No, this can't be happening. It can't be. No! It's That's all you. Get fired. You might have been able to die quickly. But you are going to die. You're going to torn open the wall with those cracks on your belly. Oh. Oh dear. The bruise along my stomach and abdomen had followed suit, splitting open and dripping dark red blood everywhere. 
At this at this point, I completely lost any ability to think or reason. I was a goner and I knew it. It's worse than dying an instant by getting smashed against a wall? Getting slowly, carefully torn apart, that's what. Let's play, come on, let's play. Time to begin the autopsy, everyone. Please stay away, stay away. Yeah, I was a goner and I couldn't fight it. Somewhere deep in the pit of my soul, I knew there was no way out. This unimaginably cruel fate was predestined. I couldn't escape. Oh, sure, I tried to run. I squirmed and resisted with every last bit of strength I had, but fate had me by the ankle and it wasn't about to let go. If only I could force myself to lose consciousness. Maybe I could avoid the unbearable agony that I knew was coming. But sadly, I wasn't that strong-willed. Okay. Um, they're, they're playing, um... Um, they're playing Parcheesi, Monopoly, I don't know. I can feel the hands of children all over my body, coming from virtually every direction, and they were really digging. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts! Ugh. Oh no, I'm dying, save me, Shig. Shig? Ha! Your dear Shig won't be coming to your rescue. No chance, no hope. Okay, so the scissors thing from the original? No, not. It's no longer the worst thing anymore. I was seized with a pain unlike anything I'd ever even imagined possible before. I couldn't talk, couldn't move, couldn't even think. I felt like my head was going to explode under the pressure of the millions of nerves, all telling my brain just how much every part of my body hurt. And it didn't stop. Every moment it grew worse and worse. Then I began to drift away. <laughs> what an awful stink! Let's decorate the wall. Remember the hallway outside with our new autopsy model. Gross. <laughs> this school is getting livelier all the time. Sachiko's voice sounded like it was far in the distance. It was then that I realized the agony I'd been feeling had changed. It was no longer pain, but chill. I didn't hurt anymore. I was just cold. So cold that I couldn't even feel my body. So cold. So very, very cold. Shig, can't even move a finger anymore. But even if I'm dead, and even if my body is an unsightly mess, I hope you won't think poorly of me. Because Shig, I, I love. My final wish is that Shig be the one to find my body. As long as it's not too revolting to look at anyway. I want him to think I'm pretty. I'm missing. Shig, bro. <sighs> Clear. Chapter 3 is now playable. New testimonies of the uh, people. Yeah. Great. I'm not happy. Well, since we are almost at the end of a video, and I'm going to have to go back anyway, let's go ahead and actually listen to these. So, we already listened to hers. Uh, let's listen to Kishinuma's. みなさんお疲れ様でした。え、吉木役の中村祐一です。いやあ、クリアをしたそうで、え、どうでしたか一本道で行けましたかおはようございます。それとも いろんな人がいろんなことになっちゃうパターンを見たんでしょうか。え、もし見てなくてですね。ま、すんなり、割とすんなり行けちゃったなっていう人はですね。やっぱり全部見てほしいよねっていうところがあります。Oh, ちょっとショッキングなね。シーンをたくさんやってるんでね。そういったところもぜひ含んで楽しんでいただければいいかななんて思っておりますんで、え、何度も遊んでみてもらえるかな。はい、どうもありがとうございます。それではまた。シュシ
皆さんプレイしてみていかがでしたか It was depressing. 眉としても何理由かとしても久しぶりに本当に背中がゾクゾクする感じを私も味わいました<笑>皆さんもぜひ何度もプレイして楽しんでくださいね That was a lot shorter than normal. Alright, so let's see how we're doing here. Not that. I guess I can show off the menu. Might as well. So, just like before, they have a thing that tracks the name tags and an ending list. Yeah, there's names. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should be showing these off, but I don't know. But there are two more bad ends from Demise that I have to go back and do, so. That'll be for next time, though. So until then, everybody, take care. <laughs>